We have a problem. Do you agree that there's a problem? Yes. yes. Do you agree there is a problem at personal level? Yes. Do you agree there is a problem at family level? Yes. Do you agree there is a... You know, when a man... When a man... Wants to be married... Married, yes. Jesus at Zalini. When a community has men who want to fight for their right and they say, you know, these such men, the human rights activities should fight them. Because if men, what are the time na men, who will marry our daughters? <laughs> these are crazy people who need to be asleep. There's a problem. When a 40-year-old mama, African, wants to put on a t-shirt ya mtoto miyakasita. Is there a problem or is no problem? There is. Oh my God. There is a problem. Nini ni wa Afrika ama nini ni nani? You know, Africans had their culture. We are no longer Africans. We are no longer Kenyans. We are no longer religious. You tell a lady, listen, this is not good for you. And she tells you, my dress, my dress. My dress. <laughs> is there a problem or there is no problem? There is a problem. Juzi, excuse me, Juzi, nilitenda andani ya Nairobi sanani ya usiku. Sometimes you just want to explore and I see. You can't imagine the number of youth wako walevi in the name of Jesus and Mekumi Wapombe. You can't imagine what totally Lopata Vijana and Lopata Moy Avenue, they walk and then they vomit. You ask them, boss, you are the future generation. Mukiwa Hibi Saisi, what happens? May God bless Charity Gilu. Because when she was the health minister, she said, no smoking. Yes. You know, you have to say she made some cages for them. Go there. Hata you are guilty. You are guilty when walking there. You are guilty. <laughs> as much as she had her own weaknesses, she assisted us. She assisted us. There is a problem. Nikitembea sa nani usiku, ahapo I and M bank, sa pisa na nusu, I met a brown lady and a dark, slim young man. Nikauliza, niliweka gari hapo karibao, nikauliza. Habari zenu, say mzuri, is it African for a woman to be on the street this time? She said, no. Is it Kenyan? No. Are you from a night shift? No. <laughs> then I asked her, because she dagani, Alisema, mimi ni mkamba, nimetoka mwingi, wazazi wako maskini, nimetafuta kazi, hakuna kazi, nikamua, ni uze mwiliangu. Ni uze? Mwiliangu. Nikamumbia, hivyo mungu anataka, she said, apana. Mila ya wakamba inataka, apana. Uafrika inataka, apana. Why? Kwa nini unafanya hivyo? Shida. Sema, I have a problem. Laka niambia, you are a good Samaritan, nilisimama hapa usiku kuuza mwili yangu na imagine sijapata mteja. I told her how much. She said me the list is 200 shillings. I told her I'm married to three wives and uh, still you can apply, but take this 200 shillings. <laughs> Take these 200 <laughs> shillings, and I want to talk to you. I want to talk. Me kama mwambi ya na wuyu kijana, wuyu kijana ni nani? She told me, let him speak for himself. Me kama mwambi ya, you are not brothers because the lady is so light and so brown. Na wewe ya dark. Wewe ni nani? Sema tami mi ni nauza. Listen, hata mimi nina? 
Ninauza. So I tell you, okay, this lady was designed by God to fulfill that responsibility. Lakini amekosea kwa sababu aliruka mpaka. You know, God designed her, sidiyo? God was create, created Eve for a purpose, sidiyo? You need to do it the legal way. Sasa hee kidogo ili kazi ni hile hile tu, lakini alienda kidogo wrong. We will correct her. Sasa wewe mwanaume, unauza nini? He told me, I don't want to say some things here. Eh? He told me, he, mimi nimetoka ni mkelenji, nimetoka Eldoret. Nimeenda kutafta kazi, Mombasa. Nikapata hii biyashara. You know, it's funny when you are learning homosexuality from Muslims. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah? When drugs, you know, if a person was controlling Mombasa and he had no no issue about God and drugs and was keeping in containers, fine. The governor is a Muslim, claims he has faith, the senator is a Muslim, the women rep is a Muslim, and all this. Then still containers of cocaine are coming. You know, the Americans will never rush to doubting you. An African can do that. But the Americans will not just come and tell... If you tell an American soldier, go and shoot him, he's told by the boss, go and shoot him. He will ask why. Sio mwa Afrika tu nampatia 20 bob na mwambia kwenda Kanyange na naiku Kanyanga. You see? So the guy told me from a bus ago. Now, listen. They told me, gentlemen, now that you have known our problems, can you help us sort out this problem? What do we do? I thought of an institution in Nairobi that can help this boy out of homosexuality, that can help this lady out of prostitution. And uh, there is no family ready to do that, mentoring. No family, including mine. And my wife is not me, and I'm not the wife. As a family, we, need, we are not prepared to serve humanity. There is no mosque or church ready to do that. I got one lady called Regina in Kuali, who told me, Malimo, I have a way of helping the gentleman out of homosexuality. Is it a, is, is it a vice or is it a good thing? Nane nataka mtoto yake atumewe vibaya? There was a Maasai man ambaye lieto kotini kwa jili ya rep some years back. My father told me. Jaja kama mbe, you raped a woman. Masai lisema, abuyo mina uliza wewe, uyu mama avaye hile nguwa mefa. Before you judge. Kwa hiko chini kazama wenda uvaye bile uleva. The second day she came, you can imagine. Anayewe jamaa kazama, ainame. Kazama hapu miku anatembe nyuma yake. Alipo inama, alipo inama. Masa ya liuliza sasa, sasa, ya sasa. You know there is a problem. There is a, there is a problem. Jesus. We need to solve this problem. Sasa. We need to solve these problems. We are seeking for solutions. Tunataka matibabu ya shida zetu. I will not be happy to die and leave my five-year-old son to struggle with what I'm struggling with. Last October, I went to deliver a lecture in the US. I came, Americans love their country. They pay their taxes. Their streets are okay. Everything is nice. You, are, you will actually love to live in such a place. We don't love our country. Hatupendi each year to this. Tunaishi as if to taondoka Kenya next week, as if we are going, kila mtu ni kuipa, kuchukua, kila mtu ni kuipa, fundi ya kijenga nyumba ni ebaada two weeks inanguka. Nobody wants to care about this. Let me tell you one thing. 
Do you sincerely accept that there is a problem? Yes. yes. This is not politics, boss. I'm not a politician. Mm. You know, my father, born in 1930, I saw him. He relieved the house. He was a police officer. To go and get us something to eat, he will come a frustrated man. In 1970, his payslip was reading 250 shillings. I have it in my library. He is 90 and his pension is 3,000 shillings. He is now diabetic. He is old. He needs tenderness and care. And then somebody goes with 16 billion. Wale watu wamekufa wakishugulikia serikali na wanafanya kazi ya serikali mpaka leo they are not paid their pension. When I was a teacher, our salaries are delayed by one week. Ile mshahara inakuja, wanaweka kwa bank so that it can, it can, it can, it can attract some tax. Wewe unauliza mshahara kwa nini imechelewa? Unagowe kwenda fanya kazi. Is it just in the account anataka kuweka hiyo pesa for two weeks? Ileete. There is a problem economically. There is a problem socially. There is a problem morally. There is a problem in education. You know there was a time they said an MCA must be a graduate. Mm. Yes. I may, Listen, if it will continue like that, everybody will have been a graduate. And Karyoko is a university. <laughs> if IBC is serious, you remember there is that uh, finance act, a uh, finance committee, finance whatever, mm. where every aspirant was supposed to have an election campaign financing committee. Mm. Let me tell you, if you want to, to know the position of Kenya, go and the IEBC should go and vet those signatures. An MCA, an MP is in town, Nairobi, and he's buying in Koiba Tech. And the committee are eight people, and he signed for the eight, all of them. Karaoke, yeah, you're the sign. Numa, yeah, you're the sign. Yeah, you're the sign. Is that legal or is it legal? Eh? You see somebody doing it right before you, and you tell him you want to be a leader, mm -hmm. and you're starting it with the wrong foot. <laughs> Kama IEBC intervene those signatures in your committee, we will not have one leader elected. What is the solution to our problems? Eh? What do you think is the solution? Tunza. No, 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 no. Don't shout Tunza because you are called and you are here. Just speak the truth. Good leadership. Good leadership. Good revolution. Listen. Our solution, number one, number one. Mark my words. Solution number one. Is knowledge about God. Any human being who has no respect for God cannot respect his or her own mother. If a woman cannot respect God and listen to God, she cannot respect the husband. Yes. If the son doesn't know God, cannot respect the mother. If the husband doesn't know God, cannot respect his wife. If the leader cannot respect God, he cannot respect anything. The yardstick, the yardstick I use in life. I, you come to me and talk to me, I listen to you, I just measure your relationship with God. If I see aspects that are ungodly, I don't expect much of you. Kama unawezadarao mungu, mimi ni nani? God who gave you eyes since you started seeing, you were never told to charge your eyes. Tangu, kama mwenyezi mungu wake tuambia, one day, kila mtu wajiweke macho, but you... Wangapi wangeka kwa manyumba? Because they cannot afford it. Since we started walking, hakuna mtu waliwe pata pamcha. Since we started walking, hakuna mtu alisema petroli mekwisha. How many kilometers did you cover, boss? Eh? Imagine, kama America, na Japan, na all the world will tell you, we will give you all the 
seven, uh, 750 watt Boeing Ndege and all the money, we just cut one of your legs, one. That means this thing is more, ex God gave us this body. Kama mwenyezi mungu ambaye, how many, have you seen a person with a, 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 a kidney problem? Eh? Analipo pesa ngapi dialysis every week. Imagine your kidney is doing that for free. And it had been doing that since you were born. Imagine. If three times dialysis the last time I knew, it was 15,000 one time. Unadungo uko, nini, the person changes color, so problem. And let me tell you, when they go to India, I agree with PLO Lumumba. He says, <laughs> The university will train doctors, but all of us rush to India. The universities will train engineers, but Chinese construct our roads. Engineers wait to Akwapi. Eh? Where are our engineers? Kila mtu wakone shilinga kipata anenda uko. Now for, if you have, for the doctors who are here, the, if the kidney transplant is done, you let to anameza dawa marangapi? Kuna dawa tatu anameza kila siku. That is what I have seen with them. At certain time, anameza. Certain time, anameza. Until he dies. Unauliza, what is the problem? He tells you, the body has a defense system. Body ikona military, ikona jeshi, ikona navy, ikona prison, ikona... Eh, kanjo, ikona kila kitu. 